You ain't gotta go, but you gotta get the up out of here. <laughs> I personally can't see myself working for someone else until I turn 70 something years old. Like that to me is crazy. Hold on, hold up. Cause don't be trying to click off the video yet. <laughs> he was walking a little too close. <laughs> I just leave in a penthouse. Yeah, it's giving manifestation. <laughs> We have Fantasia coming to the stage. Bring her out, bring her out, bring her out. Hold on, y'all. Here she goes. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to another vlog. Oh. Clap it up for Fantasia, y'all. <laughs> hey, y'all. Them vocals be giving. We brought the mic out to do the intro. I might start doing this, y'all. I don't know what made me just grab this, but I'm trying to actually take this bottom part off. But anyway, so we gonna work. We gonna work with what we got. I'm so excited. We are back with another vlog. Y'all know I love vlogging, but this time, girl, let me put the mic down. Put the mic down, girl. Put the mic down. That's only for the intro. This time, your girl came on a vlog looking like something. <laughs> Your girl looking like sun, she getting dressed, you know? We about to go out and about. We are gonna call this a solo Saturday vlog. It's giving solo Saturday vibes. We're gonna do our own little thing today. We're gonna go out and about, do some things that we like, take ourselves out for a little bit, you know? Do some cute stuff. So, first thing I know I need to do off the top of my head, y'all, first of all, I don't know why I've been getting out of breath so fast. I think it's that piece I had last <laughs> But no, for real. First thing I know I need to do is I want to go to Whole, Whole Food. No, girl. Home Goods. I want to go to Home Goods. That's over there by what mall is that near? Oh, I'm actually happy that I'm going over that side because I want to go to that mall. But it was something about that mall that I wanted to look. Y'all, I cannot think on what it was. What did I need to go over there for? Oh, that's what I need to go over there for, girl. Because you know, the last time I vlogged, I was trying to go to Macy's because I need some new wash rags and some towels. That's what it is. So that mall has that Macy's that I want to go in. And that's also over there by that Whole Foods. I keep saying Whole Foods. Home Goods. I know I need to go back to Trader Joe's. Y'all probably tired of me going to Trader Joe's in these vlogs. But girl, it's like little stuff that I really like from there. And then girl, we're going to go out on a little date. You know, like a little dinner. Not like a crazy like bougie style dinner. But just out to get something to eat. I'm thinking about going to True Food Kitchen. I'm thinking that's where I really want to go. I think I took I think I took y'all with me before there. Anyway, this sweater, y'all, I don't have no pants on right now. I'm trying to find out what I want to put on the bottom because the sweater is cute. I might do another oversized look with some leggings and some boots. I'm not sure. But this is what we're working with for right now. I got this top from um HM. Hold on, y'all. This this is too bright. It's giving too much. Hold on, hold on. So I'll be back when we about to leave out, and I guess I'll show y'all my outfit and i'm just excited for our little solo saturday so this is not a weekly vlog because girl i ain't do nothing this week i'm just being honest girl i didn't so y'all gonna have a, a day vlog i hope y'all love me i hope y'all still love me and then probably tomorrow because I'm, I'm not gonna put this out until monday i think i'm i'm aiming for every monday i did two mondays straight already so let's do another one <laughs> this perfume oh my gosh so i got this from zara it's called red temptation fire i found out about this from tiktok and i just love this so much if y'all know about the baccarat which everybody talks about everybody wears it is expensive i'm not gonna say everybody wears because baby i believe that's like two to three hundred dollars if i'm not mistaken but girl this smell just like it so if y'all have smelled baccarat or y'all wanted baccarat before Make sure y'all go on Zara and get this. When I tell you this, stay on all day, all day. Anyway, I'm probably just praying too much, but this is really good. And it's only $35, y'all. Is my camera sliding down? It is. <laughs> y'all, I'm sitting here wondering. I'm like, wait a minute. I know my head is just not cut off. It was definitely sliding down. Anyway, y'all, again, this is Red Temptation. Get y'all some. I'm gonna do one more. I need to put some more deodorant on too. Because, girl, I don't know. I just like to 
we gotta make sure we smell fresh oh y'all oh my goodness i got some new well not new because i've never had any um already for this apartment but i got some nightstands that came in the mail yesterday girl and i'm so excited my boo is actually coming over tomorrow <laughs> and he gonna put them together for me so i will show y'all when they together but right now they just still in the box but i'm so excited finally getting my room together this camera is still sliding i don't know what's up with this tripod but let's put our shoes on and let's go <laughs> let me show y'all what i'm wearing real quick if y'all can see ah can y'all see can y'all see these big ass boots these boots heavy as shit <laughs> They cute, but girl, I got them from H&M, and they is heavy. It's almost giving steel toe boots. <laughs> hey, y'all, I play too much. The sweater I got from H&M, this little bag I think I got from Forever 21. No, I got this from H&M too, girl, and these leggings from H&M. Oh, my goodness, I got on a whole H&M fit. Anyway, y'all, I'm ready to leave. I'm tired. I'm trying to do TikTok, YouTube, YouTube, TikTok. Girl, I need a drink. <laughs> Oh, we just left the penthouse. We are out and about now. <laughs> y'all, y'all know what's so funny, right? I always visualize myself in a different place in my life, like in the future. And girl, I be leaving the penthouse. I be leaving the penthouse in my little Benz, little coupe car or whatever, or like a Benz truck. You know, looking real classy, bougie. Might be a mom with a car seat in the back. You know, you just never know. But yeah, girl. Okay. <laughs> I always have those visuals though in my head. I was just talking to myself earlier. Y'all, I talk to myself a lot. I always envision myself like, dang, I'm gonna be living like this. I'm gonna be living like that. And not to say like, you know, I'm just chasing money, which I am chasing money, but just growth and elevation in life for me and my family. Anyway, y'all, I don't know how I started talking about this, but me joking around talking about, yeah, just leaving the penthouse. Yeah, it's giving manifestation <laughs> at its finest. But no, I feel good, y'all. Obviously, y'all can tell the energy is given. The energy is given what it needs to give. I am hungry, but I'm gonna go to the mall and I'm gonna go to Home Goods first before I get food. Because, yeah, I think that it would be the smartest um, thing for me to do right now. But y'all already know we got to listen to some tunes. I'm sorry in advance if I let you down. Y'all here in Houston, on the street, on the highway, I give it to y'all. Y'all be, be zoom, zoom. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be on y'all zoom. <laughs> but on the street, absolutely not. Get them out of here. Y'all be driving so crazy and slow. Then I'll be like, oh my gosh, it be the speed limit be 45. Y'all be doing 15. Like what make it make sense? But let's listen to some music, y'all. Cause I got Brent Rolling Stone um on pause right now. Hold on. <laughs> girl, it's giving rich mom. <laughs> it's giving rich wife. Hold on, girl. Let me put my shades on. <laughs> uh, uh, I just love it. Hold on. In the if I let you down. I'm sorry. Just Talk to him, bring my new bitch look like Halle Berry. Hold up! If she don't love me, she too scary. I would love her, she too down. It's some me time. Me time! You know what you want. Hold up! He said that me time, y'all. That's the solo Saturdays. Hold up! We have arrived, y'all. I'm so excited because Home Goods be having the good stuff. I don't know why he told me that I took it. I've taken him here before. I've never taken. Maybe we went to Home Goods before. I'm talking out loud, y'all. Obviously, I ain't talking to y'all, but um, I was talking about Boo, and he was telling me that he didn't remember us finding anything good in Home Goods. And I'm like, what home goods did we go to? We didn't go to this one. This one is really good. So we're here. <laughs> Let's see what we can find, y'all. I am triple checking my purse because y'all know ever since I had locked myself out the car. <laughs> ever since I was vlogging that time, y'all, and locked myself out the car. Why don't these kids have on no jackets? I double, triple check now. Okay, <laughs> we have arrived. 
this little area right here is so cute that is really nice i like that a lot y'all the funniest thing is when i see kids in the store because even like as soon as they see my camera you do youtube <laughs> they be so cute y'all it is so much stuff in here oh, this little smiley face cup is so cute ain't this cute i all got enough mugs it's only five dollars it's giving happy. I think I'm getting it. <laughs> Y'all, I see why I do not come in Whole Foods. Like, I mean, I keep going to this Whole Foods. Home goods. Because, girl, you will go broke. I'm over here in the container little section. And I picked up one of these little egg cartons, y'all. I had my whole refrigerator organized with these plastic containers. But I put them in the dishwasher and they melted. So... <laughs> don't put them in the dishwasher and it has a big sign on there that says do not put in no it says hand wash only so that's why it's good to read this is really cute too and it's only 2.99 see the price is what gets me because i always make a reason to get something it's only 2.99 it's only five dollars but yeah we're gonna get that oh that's cute i am in the clearance section my favorite section of the store and i was looking at these throws the throw over in my bed I'm going for like off-white, white, neutral kind of colors in my room. And I did see this one, y'all. Oh, and I got some new gl wine glasses, but I saw this one. I don't know if I like this for real. Do this look like it's worth $20? <laughs> Anytime you're in a clearance section and you're still asking for a discount, y'all, I don't play. This is another area I like with the candles, but I smelled a few and... A lot of them stink, and then the ones that smell good, it ain't enough of a discount for me. I like $4.50, but that stinks. There's one over here that was like um, $15. I think it was this one. No, it was $12. $12 for this little thing. I don't think that, but it smelled really good. But I don't think that's worth $12. Let me see about this one. Nah, I'm good. The tag is halfway up, but it is $9.99. You can make a label, right? Girl, it's a Saturday night for you. Thank God for this light, y'all. I have to put this on my Amazon storefront because I, lo I love this light so much. Only thing about it, it goes dead really fast. I think I do want to go ahead and run and total around really quick and grab some red wine because I don't keep wine or liquor at the house, y'all, because I don't really drink a lot. I'm going to run in here really quick. I'm not going to vlog me going in the wine store. That's, that's pointless. But I am going to go in Macy's next. So I'll catch up with y'all when it's time to go to Macy's. We are at Macy's, y'all. I'm laughing because y'all know how I just start randomly singing. I do the same thing in public and people be looking at me like I'm crazy. Just bye, 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 bye. Oh, bye, bye. Ooh, y'all, this is what I was looking for. That backstage area. That's what I wanted. So this is the right one. Uh, am I the only one that be wanting to tell kids that be running around in the store that don't listen to their parents? That's what my mom used to do to us. <laughs> Yo, y'all know, y'all know. All, you, all your mother got to do back in the day is give you that look like this. Or give you one of these. These kids is crazy. These kids just be running around all crazy. Don't listen to nobody. It's four washcloths for $5 a good discount. Like, um, obviously these are good quality. These are the ones I have already. And I really do like them. I don't know why I'm whispering y'all, but... <laughs> I like them, but I want them in black. And then I'm like, dang, did I pay four for five dollars? Like, I don't think that's a good deal. They might have cheated me out of something. Is it just me or I don't care what it is? If you don't have what I want and I don't care how long I travel, I'm not buying shit. <laughs> I don't just buy stuff for the sake of buying stuff. Well, I do, but I have to really like it. I'm not picking it up again. Yeah, I don't see black, y'all. I'm going to pick it up since i did it i'ma do it i'ma do it god damn y'all probably sick of me but anyway i'm leaving i don't see what i want i want those black wash rags and towels that i got with the polka dots on there and i don't see them so we just gonna order some offline or maybe try to go to like burlington or something like that I cannot believe that they have Olipop. <laughs> I don't think I've tried the lemon lime Olipop, but I have tried the lemon lime poppy. 
So I'm pretty sure it's probably gonna taste similar. So we shall see. We shall see. I don't know what I want yet because I get the same thing every time I come here, which is the lasagna. But I got buy one, get one, so I still might get that to go. But try something new while I'm here. That's how I made my mind up. I'm gonna do the smoked Gouda turkey burger with some sweet potato fries while I'm here. And then to go, I'm gonna do the lasagna. My nail didn't came off, y'all. My press on and came off in a car, so I'm trying to hide this hand. <laughs> If y'all can't tell, this burger is fire. This whole meal, fire. I am stuffed. And I didn't even eat my all my food. I ate half of my burger. But I think it was that Olipop. <laughs> Got me feeling bloated. Y'all, it is freezing. Well, it's not freezing. I'm, I'm exaggerating. <laughs> I'm exaggerating. I was actually debating on getting wine there instead of the Olipop. But I'm like, I just got some wine. Y'all, I literally paid $10 for this big bottle of wine that I have with me, right? And, see, no, I gotta move because he was walking a little too close. He was walking a little too close. <laughs> I gotta hurry up, y'all, because people weird. I don't know. So I'll see you guys at the crib. I'm gonna warm up a little bit. Ooh, sound like sandpaper. <laughs> and listen to some music. And I see y'all at the crib. We gonna vibe out. And I gotta talk to y'all a little bit. Because, you know, I was getting a little emotional today. I'm dead serious. I was. And I just want to talk to y'all about it when I get to the crib. And we like chilling, relaxing and stuff. Oh, I know, right? You excited me too. <laughs> you taking these big ass boots off, y'all. They so heavy. I don't know. Maybe it's normal. They supposed to be like chunky. But, y'all, those my um nice stands back there. But anyway, look how big these boots are, y'all. Girl, and then I wear a 10 at that. <laughs> it's like the boots are already big, and you wear a 10. I play too much. Hold on, y'all. Lord, have mercy on me. I got a piece, so oh, I'll be back. <laughs> your smile, your high. Hold on, y'all. Your Yo, peace entirety. Lord, have mercy on me. I was blind, now I can see. <laughs> y'all, you would have thought I had a drink. Oh my goodness, y'all. I shout out to people that need a drink to be lit or have fun. Because, girl, I'm out of breath. <laughs> but, baby, I can have fun with or without a drink. But guess what? We gonna pull us up a drink anyway. <laughs> Where I get this dance from, y'all? Like I told Sasha, she when I shot with it. That guy said he had Toro, then he dropped with it. <laughs> hey, girl, hey. So, I wanted to sit down real quick, first of all, to tell y'all something that's so funny. And I also want to try this um, e.l.f. lip oil that everybody in a mom keep raving about on TikTok. Oh, shit. Ooh, that lady left it in the bag. Did she charge me? I don't know if she charged me for that. Dang, I gotta look at my receipt. Hold on, y'all. I'm looking at my phone, right? I got two things I wanna say that's funny. So I went to Ulta, right? Y'all know I went to Ulta. I picked up the lip oil, which I'm about to try, and then a new little eyebrow thing, right? Cool. So I saw this at the register. This little touch spray um, sanitizer that I be seeing all the, all the girlies using on TikTok. They be doing their little aesthetic videos and stuff. It be cute, right? So I was like, oh, it's only $5. So I get to the register, it ring up for $10. I'm like, um, excuse me, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> There's a sign right there that says that they're $5 and there's a whole lot of them that stop right there. She's like, oh no, these are not $5. Can you show me? I'm like, okay. So I take her to her and it's sitting right there. And she's like, oh no, this sign says something else. I'm like, well, that's kind of like confusing people with y'all having that stock right in the wrong area. She was like, yeah, but these aren't, um, she was like, yeah, these aren't $5, they $10. I was like, oh, okay, I don't want it. But she had already put it in my bag 
prior to me saying something about the price. So now I get home and I didn't even notice until now that she left it in the bag, but girl, <laughs> she ain't charged me for it. So I got a free little sanitizer, see? She took it off, didn't she? Yeah, only thing she charged me for was the lip oil and the eyebrow um thing, so. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Let's see how this works, let's see. Girl, the fact that this is $10 is crazy, but I ain't gonna complain. It's, it feel free. <laughs> no, this is cute though. I needed a sanitizer, but I wasn't trying to get it for free, but I ended up getting it free anyway. Let's try this e.l.f. lip oil. This is the Glow Reviver lip oil. I wanted the clear one, but girl, they only had like red left. They ain't really had no colors for real. So this color is pink quartz. So this is the packaging, guys. <laughs> This is how the old school uh, YouTubers be on with the makeup videos. So this is the swatch. And I'm going to do it on my hand. No, I'm not. But we're going to see. Y'all know I love the Dior lip oil. So they claim that this is like a dupe. Let me smell it. it smell like plastic. <laughs> Let's see. No, it ain't a dupe. I already can tell. Yeah, this ain't no dupe. I mean, it's cool little lip gloss. What was this, $8? I don't even know if this is worth $8. Let's see. Okay. Okay, elf. <laughs> Let's see. It almost gives clear because my lips are really pink. That's what happens when you don't smirk or Joanna. But, um, yeah. I feel like it look regular. <laughs> I don't know if it gives eight dollars, but it's cute. It's cute. It's something to keep in the car or in my um purse or whatever like that. And then this eyebrow gel is simple. But anyway, let me tell y'all the story, right? Real quick about when I went to <laughs> True Food Kitchen. So this is gonna be it. And then I'm gonna set up the hookah, pour a glass of wine, and we're gonna sit right there and have a little chit chat. So I went to um True Food Kitchen, obviously. Right, but the only reason I really went, y'all, is because I got a text message today. I'm signed up for their alerts on my phone. So they text me like, hey, bring a friend and buy one, get one free. So when I saw that, I didn't li I didn't think they literally meant bring a friend. You know how, I don't know, you know how they like use certain words for promo, but I didn't think that they really meant bring somebody with me. So <laughs> So it's funny, but it's not. I'm, you know, eating whatever, enjoying myself. So in the beginning, when I first sat down, I told the man, I said, I have a coupon for buy one, get one. And I showed him, I'm sorry, y'all, if I got something in my eyes. And I showed him, he's like, okay, okay, whatever like that, right? So I'm like, should I order them both now? Or should I order the one to go when I'm ready to go? He was like, oh, it just depends on if you want it to be hot. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna wait until I'm about to leave, right? So anyway, I got the turkey burger, I got the sweet potato fries, cool. First of all, before I get to that, and I feel like that's probably why they let me slide, because there were so many things wrong, right? But I didn't complain not one time, usually girl, soon something go wrong, I'd be ready to ask for a manager. Everywhere I go, and me and my boo was talking about this, he like, maybe you should kinda give people grace a little bit when you be out, and maybe people will always mess up your stuff. I ordered the Olipop, I ordered some water. Right? So obviously y'all saw I had the Olipop, tried it. Oh, this is good. But I had to go to the bathroom. So I wasn't about to leave my purse on my camera. Right? So I grabbed my camera, my purse, went to the bathroom, left my drink on the table, my water on the table, whatever. The straw is in the water still. Literally, don't take long at all in the bathroom, y'all. Go to the bathroom, I come back, the, the table is clear. Like, they just took everything away. So I'm like, well, damn. <laughs> I was coming back. So, I mean, obviously, you could have thought that I left, right? Well, the people that cleaned up the tables probably thought that. Not the guy that was waiting on me. So, he was like, um, I came back and he was like, hey, I'm so sorry. I said, they took everything away. Um, I only went to the bathroom. He was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Whatever, right? I'm like, oh, it's cool. It's whatever, right? So, he bring me another Olipop, bring me another water, whatever. So, I ordered my food. My food come. I don't have napkins, so I had to ask him for napkins. I don't have utensils, I had to ask him for utensils. And I thought I think that was the only couple of things that was wrong. The utensils, the napkins, the fact that y'all took all my stuff away. So I'm eating, minding my own business, you know how I do. And I'm ready to order the meal to go. So, <laughs> 
So I'm like, yeah, can I put the order in for the for the lasagna? He like, yeah, sure, whatever. I'm like, okay, cool. So he bring the check. <laughs> he say, um, you say you had a coupon? I say, yeah, y'all text me, you know, the coupon. So I'm showing him my phone. You ever see where somebody say something or reading from something to tr try to make you look stupid a little bit? And I'm not saying that that's what he was trying to do. But that's how I felt, right? I felt like he kept repeating the part where it say, bring a friend. He kept looking at he like, bring a friend, bring a friend. I'm like, why do he keep saying that? But I'm not gonna say nothing. So anyway, he was like, um, oh yeah, this is if you bring a friend with you. I'm like, oh, they literally meant bring a friend. I thought it was just buy one, get one. I'm taking this home to my man, girl. I ain't taking this home to my man. You clearly see ain't no man here. But he was like, oh, you know what? I'll go ahead and try to use it for you. I just won't tell my manager. So I'm like, okay thanks thank you you know grateful because i really was thinking i was getting one free so the manager come over now mind you the manager has already spoken to me she told me she loved my camera she loved what i'm doing xyz so it was really nice they was really really nice she's like yeah let me see your coupon again <laughs> so i showed a coupon she did the same thing he did bring a friend she's like yeah you have to bring someone with you i was like oh i didn't know it literally meant bring somebody i literally said the same thing i'm taking this home to my man she's like you know what you know what i'll just do it this one time this one time i'm like thank you ma'am i really appreciate it that bill went from 46 dollars to 24 dollars absolutely i'm grateful i tipped him very well so Anyway, y'all, that was my little story time. And I got one more thing to show y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold up. Because don't be trying to click off the video yet. <laughs> I put that little throwback. I didn't like it. And then I showed my boo. He told my son, I don't like it. I'm like, yeah, I already knew he was going to say that. One thing about him, y'all, he a Leo. Do y'all Have y'all ever dated a Leo man? But one thing about him, y'all, he going to be honest. And I love him for that. Like, he know if he asks me my opinion on something, or I ask him his, his opinion on something, he going to tell me the truth. The absolute truth. <laughs> The absolute truth. But look at the little glasses, y'all. Aren't they so cute? Let me move out the way. They are so stinking cute. And look how big they are, y'all. I got four of these for $9 from Home Goods. <laughs> y'all, this is so cute. Wow. I should show him. Watch this. I'm about to show him real quick. Girl, I'll be worse, huh? I show him everything. I be sending him stuff for everything. And that's another thing I love about him. I love my man, my man, my man. Girl, you would have really thought I had a drink because I'm talking. But I be like, look, what you think it is? What you think it is? What you think it is? I know he probably like, girl, you need some friends. <laughs> another thing I love about him is the fact that he shows interest in everything I'm talking about, even if he don't want to hear it. Like, sometimes I know I just be talking like I'm doing now. <laughs> and girl, he just be listening. He just be like, okay. Oh, my battery going dead, y'all. Oh my gosh. Woo, that's a lot. Cheers. Let's see, let's see. Is strong <laughs> I don't remember the last time I had some red wine I wanted to talk a little bit because earlier today I got a little emotional I talk to myself a lot y'all comment below if you talk to yourself girl I talk to myself and I respond to myself so I don't know if that's <laughs> I don't know if that's healthy or not but I do all the time and I affirm myself a lot throughout the day I thank God every day when I wake up in the morning like that's almost like the first thing I do I feel like that is the first thing I do as soon as I wake up, I say thank you, Jesus, for another day. People take for granted, and sometimes, including myself, take for granted that God woke them up another day. I appreciate life so much. I'm hard on myself when I feel like I'm wasting time in my life. Granted, every day is not going to be, oh, I'm going to go hard. I'm going to be motivated. I'm gonna... That's not every day, but I feel like most of your days should be going towards something it's crazy to me that we've been taught to be in a cycle right you go to school you graduate straight from high school they say oh go to college oh you supposed to go to college get a good education not shading nothing on college but this is just this is just what i was thinking about earlier right okay go to college depending on what you go to college for depending on if you have a scholarship some people don't full ride whatever the case may be you come out of college with debt get out of college to go work for somebody else 
To me, that is crazy. And even if you don't go to college, the fact that we are in a cycle to where they're trying to convince you that you have to work for people. And <laughs> y'all, I think the reason why I thought about this today, and I think about it a lot, but it's kind of like in spare moments. I think the reason why I thought about it today is like, I don't like working for nobody, right? I don't like working for anyone. I'm grateful for my job. I'm grateful that I'm able to take care of myself with my job, right? Never ungrateful for that. I personally can't see myself working for someone else until I turn 70 something years old. Like that to me is crazy. How do they think that this is the only way to teach us about going to, going about life? And granted, we all, we know now that we have choices and ways to make money and you don't have to work a job, but it's the fact that that was the, the way that they made it seem as if it had to go. It, it, it took for people to step out take leaps try different things to be able to say oh i don't have to work a nine to five which i feel the same way i feel like you don't have to work a nine to five i will get to a point in my life where i'm not working a nine to five because i refuse to do that the fact that they have i think they just raised the retirement um age to like 70 something years old are you are you serious i'd be upset with myself on days where i'm not really doing what i'm supposed to do to really put myself in position to not have to work my nine to five job it's like god woke me up another day he gave me another opportunity to start over okay you didn't do good yesterday he woke you up again today he gave you another 24 hours today what are you going to do with it right giving eight to ten hours of your day to somebody else that is not going towards nothing for yourself to me that is crazy when i was not working was like amazing right it's just that I didn't do the things that I was supposed to do while I was not working right but I took from that time period and I said okay this is what I did wrong this is what I did wrong this is what I did wrong okay but I know how it made me feel it's not about the money for me it's about the fact that I have to answer to somebody else and I have to be under somebody else and it's not going towards nothing that's benefiting me there's a bigger picture to me I'm a very 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 passionate person and a lot of times I don't really show that because I laugh a lot I play a lot da, 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 da. which is also me but when it come to this conversation baby <laughs> I can talk about it that was a little inside scoop you know I was feeling a little emotional earlier so I'm like let me talk to my peoples I already knew earlier today I was gonna talk to y'all about it so before we go, because your girl has to go get in a shower and wash her ass. And I see y'all in the morning, because we didn't even go to Trader Joe's, girl. It was too late by the time I left the restaurant. And I also need to go to H-E-B. Twin, where have you been? Nobody knows me like you do. Nobody don't love me quite like you can't even deny it. Why you wanna try it? Why well, look in my eyes, you know I'm lying. <laughs> Welcome back to another day on the vlog. Look at the new mug. Isn't it so cute? It's so cute. Y'all, this mug represents me so well. Like, just happy. Just happy. Only thing I'm doing this morning, y'all, with y'all, because I'm about to close this vlog out after I come back from the store. But I do need to go to Trader Joe's really quick and I need to go to H-E-B. I feel like we had a good old time in this vlog, but I ain't gonna leave y'all just yet, you know? I see y'all tomorrow. Well, y'all will see me tomorrow. <laughs> BRB, we're gonna go to the store really quick. Is there something in my coffee? Grab my L phone this morning, this morning too. <laughs> Is it cute? Take a screenshot. <laughs> Just walk out the lavish stove, pay her shoe, 1250. All you gotta do is get in with me. It's like Blake Griffin, bad bitch, 50 flow, in her about you. Baby, it is hot up in here. I left that heat on before I left out and I regret it. So y'all, I'm laughing at these. <laughs> these little things, what are these called? I don't even know how to pronounce this, Crespedia? But I thought they would be cute to add into the flowers to give it a pop of color because y'all know my bathroom and my living room both have splashes of yellow. So anyway, I got those. I got some spinach. Um, instead of me going to H-E-B, I just grabbed what I needed from 
Trader Joe's. Obviously, Trader Joe's is a grocery store. I don't know why I didn't think about that. But anyway, two of the chicken sausage patties. Y'all, they bust. I love them so much. What else we got? We got some broccolini, which I love broccolini, but I've never actually made it and had it at home. And then we got some more green juice, which I love. And then this is for my boo. He like pineapple juice. I like pineapple juice, but not really. Um, so these I really picked up for him because they got a lot of sugar in there. Yeah, this is 100%. So that's all I got from Trader Joe's. I'm about to get my life together, y'all. Cool down a little bit. Start cleaning. I don't have a lot to clean because I've cleaned throughout the week. But that is it for this vlog. That's it for this vlog. That's it for this. It for this. It for this. <laughs> oh, let me pull the mic out to do the, the, the um, outro, y'all. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, we are now reaching the end of the vlog. I appreciated you all for sticking with me and rocking with me throughout this journey. And um, yeah, you ain't gotta go, but you gotta get the up out of here. <laughs> anyway, y'all, we are out. Peace. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you do not like the video, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate y'all for what? Clicking on that video. And I will see you guys in my next vlog. <laughs> Peace.